so we'll start with uh, three poses. So three poses on the right leg. So there are few positions for the right foot in the tree. So you could stay on the right tippy toes and rest your right heel uh, above the left ankle. This should be the, the most stable option for your tree. Or if you would like to try, bring it, bring the right foot higher up and on the left calf or the full tree pose in which the right foot will be on the inner left thigh. So whichever foot position that you choose, you will still get the nice opening on the right hip. So spend some time to explore and decide on the positioning of your right foot. And remember to still ground with your left foot. Stand strong on the left foot. Activate the left leg. And turn on your glutes by squeezing your buttocks to create a stable base for your tree. And from there, we'll inhale and lift the arms up. You could then press the palms together in prayer. And from there, you will bend the elbow. So now your hands will be pointing backwards. Take an inhale and start to stand taller. Imagine some there is a string connected to the crown of the head and somebody is pulling it up. So standing tall and start to tilt your sternum towards the ceiling. Breathe and slowly start to arch your upper back come into a gentle back bend stay or go to where you are comfortable and then inhaling back to the center bring your prayer to the front of your heart and turn so the right knee is facing forward and start to tip your body weight forward and extend the right leg to the back stay for a bit in this uh, variation of warrior tree and start to bend your left knee and slowly lower the right foot back and lower the right knee so we'll stay in a, a low lunge but keep the shoulder hips and the knee uh, in line front leg is uh, 90 degree on the knee place your left hand on the left knee inhale reach with your right arm up exhale side bending to the left side and then back to the center place both hands down Tuck the back toes, back knee off the mat, and step the left foot and come into plank. Inhale, lift the right leg and thread the right leg under the left. So you're gonna extend the right leg towards the left. Drop the back heel down. Both feet are uh, facing towards the left side of the mat. And take an inhale and lift your left hand off the mat and twist the torso towards the left and keep twisting so you are facing up towards the ceiling and extend to open the left arm towards the right side fallen triangle breathe inhale and exhale put the left hand back down step the right foot back and come into your plank take another inhale to lift the right leg and this time step the right foot over the left leg and turn the left foot 
to face towards the back of the mat inhaling lift your right hand the right knee is bent so right knee bent left foot facing the back of the mat and inhale to lift your hips up and extend the right the right arm forward look towards your right hand keep pushing your heels up inhale exhale place the right hand back down right foot step back into plank and we'll repeat one more set of that uh, movement so first inhale right leg up thread the right leg under the left drop the back heel inhale twist the chest open to the left and continue twisting open the chest towards the ceiling fallen triangle inhale exhale left hand back down right leg step back plank breathe inhaling right leg up step the right foot over the left leg both feet pointing to the back right knee bend and lift your right hand off the mat and continue to open the chest lift the hips up and extend the right arm forward breathe and next exhale bring the right hand down step back to plank drop your knees take an inhale and exhale to bend your elbow keep the elbow close to your side of body drop the chest in between the hands drop the abdomen and glide forward squeeze your shoulder blades point your toes arch your upper back baby cobra breathe exhale to push up back into all four take one extra inhale and then exhale tuck your toes lift your knees push your hips up and back into downward facing dog inhale raise your right leg up three-legged dog and bend your right knee and slowly bring the right knee close to your chest start to shift your body weight forward and step the right foot in between your hands if your right foot end up somewhere here just use your right hand grab behind the right ankle and step the right foot forward drop the back knee the left knee and inhale raise your torso up again we are in the variation of low lunge the shoulders left hip and left knee are in line and the front leg is bent 90 degree at the knee place your right hand on the right knee inhaling reach up with the left arm exhale side bending to the right side breathe inhaling back to the center place both your hands down prepare to get into plank so tuck the back toes lift the back knee and step the right foot back in plank breathe and inhale to lift the left leg and thread the left leg under the right leg extending the left leg towards the right drop the back heel and take an inhale and lift your right arm right hand off the mat and continue to twist the chest to the right side and open towards the ceiling extend the right arm towards the left fallen triangle on the second side breathe exhale place the right hand down step the right foot back onto plank take another inhale lift the left leg and step the left foot over the right leg and turn so both feet are facing 
towards the back of the mat. Keep the left knee bent. Take another inhale to open up the chest towards the left and then to, to the ceiling. Push your hips up and extend your left arm forward. Look towards your left hand. Inhale and exhale. Left hand back down. Come back to plank. Stay in plank for one breath and we'll repeat the same set of movement. Inhale, left leg up. Thread the left leg under the right leg towards the right side. Drop the back heel. Inhale to lift the right hand off the mat and open the chest up. Extend the right hand to the left. Fallen triangle. Exhaling, right hand back down. Step back to plank. Inhale, left leg up. Left foot over the right leg. Turn both feet to face the back of your mat. Keep the right knee bent. Inhaling to lift the left arm up. Open the chest and extend the left arm forward. Look towards the left hand and breathe. Exhale, place the left hand back down, step left foot back into plank, drop your knees, take one inhale in all four and exhale to bend the elbows, chest in between your hands, drop your abdomen and glide forward, squeeze the shoulder blades, point the toes, arch your upper back, Baby Cobra, breathe, exhale, push with your hands, come back into all four, take one inhale here, and exhale, tuck your toes, lift your knees, push back, downward facing dog, stay for two breaths in downward facing dog, or you could drop into your child's pose. Come back to down dog and inhale to raise your left leg, three-legged dog. Bend the left knee and bring the left knee close to the chest. Round your upper back and shift your body weight forward. Step the left foot in between your hands. Again, drop the back knee. Come back into the low lunge position. Inhale, raise your arms up, press the palms together in prayer, and bend at the elbow. So you are pointing the prayer arms towards the back. Take an inhale and again, imagine growing taller through the crown of your head. And start to tilt your sternum to face the ceiling. Your head will start to look up as well and keep arching your upper back and continue to breathe come into a gentle back bend and stay inhaling back to the center place your hands down and walk your hands towards the right side of your mat swing the left the lower sorry the lower right leg towards the left side of the mat and you will extend the left leg to the side but turn so that the left foot also facing the right side of the mat so left foot and the hands are facing the same direction which is the right side of the mat inhale raise your left arm up open the chest towards the left leg and exhale thread the left arm under towards the right side and see if you can rest your head 
and left shoulder on the mat otherwise you will just go as far as possible in your twist and stay and breathe inhale press with the right hand come back up and then walk your hand towards the left leg bend the left knee and again you are in the low lunge facing the front of the mat tuck the back toes lift the back knee and step the left foot back come back into plank drop the knees inhale exhale chest in between your hands elbows bent drop your abdomen on the mat glide forward point the toes squeeze the shoulder blades arch your upper back exhale press with your hands come back into all four inhale exhale to push back up into down dog inhale this time raise your right leg up three like a dog bend the right knee bring the right knee towards your chest start to round your upper back and shift your body weight forward and step the right foot in between the hands drop the back knee come back up into a, a variation of low lunge inhale raise your arms up press your palms together in prayer bend at the elbows point the prayer arms to the back careful not to flare the ribs and arch the back here so you want to the spine to still be in the neutral position and take an inhale and start to grow taller from the crown of your head continue to breathe and start to slowly arch your upper back pointing your sternum towards the ceiling and keep going arching your upper back to your maximum where you are still comfortable and can hold for a few breaths and then inhale back to the center place your hands down and walk your hands this time towards the left side of your mat swing the lower left leg towards the right side of the mat and extend the right leg and turn so that the right foot is pointing to, to the same direction as your hands so uh, the right foot and the hands will be pointing towards the left side of your mat and the uh, left foot is pointing towards the other side of the mat so inhale raise your right arm up and open your chest towards the right leg and exhale to thread the right arm under the chest all the way to the left if you could uh, rest your right shoulder and the head on the ground or on the mat otherwise stay where you are max uh, like comfortable in your twist and breathe inhale press with the left hand and up hands under the shoulders and walk your hands towards your right leg bend the right knee and you are again facing the front of your mat tuck the back toes lift the back knee of the mat and step the right foot back into plank drop the knees into all four inhaling and exhaling bend your elbows 
chest in between your hands drop your abdomen and glide forward as you point your toes and squeeze your elbows closer arch your upper back baby cobra breathe and exhale press up into all four take one extra inhale exhaling tuck your toes lift your knees push back into downward facing dog and breathe inhale to raise your right leg bend the right knee bring the knees closer to the chest around your upper back shift your body weight forward and again step the right foot in between the hands take an inhale and exhale engage the musk the muscle of your torso keep your trunk stable and strong arms in prayer in front of your chest start to tilt your body weight forward drag that back foot forward and then float the back foot of the mat come into variation of warrior three and start to bend the left knee and bring your torso up into standing left knee still bent and point the knees forward bring the left knee closer to the chest and you can use your left hand to push the left knee and open the left hip to the side and again we'll come back into three so same thing three position for the left foot on the tippy toes on the right calf or all the way up on the inner side of the right thigh whichever position you are still getting the nice opening on your left hip and you want, you want to ground strong through your right foot press the foot towards your mat engage your right leg squeeze your buttocks to activate your glutes get a strong and stable base in your tree and then you inhale raise your arms up press the palms together bend at the elbow and again inhaling imagine growing crawler through the crown of your head inhale start to arch your upper back point your sternum towards the ceiling looking up go to where you are comfortable and can hold the back bend for two more breaths inhaling back to the center bring your arms down release your left leg and just gently shake the legs so from here we'll move into uh, the preparatory poses to get into chakrasana or wheel pose so again inhale arms up press the palms together in prayer bring the prayer into the front of your heart keep the shoulder relaxed take an inhale and go into your tippy toes raise your heels off the mat engage your legs squeeze the thighs squeeze the glutes keep your ribs in strong and stable in the trunk and start to bend your knees lower your hips stay on your tippy toes if you can as you continue to lower the hips slowly closer and closer towards your heels and finally 
heels down and sit yourself down on your mat. So grab two blocks and we'll come back into the first uh, position we started off today, the other Shavasana. So knees bent, feet flat on the floor and lay down on your back. So the first pose to prepare for wheel is bridge position, bridge pose. So start with pressing your feet firmly on the ground and tuck your tailbone in. So for some of you who find it hard to find the tuck of your tailbone, one way to help you find that is Step, uh, step on the blocks instead of directly on the mat. So place one block each under uh, your foot. And come back into other shavasana. <laughs> and see if this time is easier to find the tuck of your tailbone. So press the feet on the block. And tuck your tailbone in. And imagine you are squeezing a third block in between your thighs. So you want to engage your legs, squeeze the thighs, and of course, squeeze the buttocks to get your, to get your glutes engaged. So all this engagement in your legs and in your glutes is to protect your lower back. So take an inhale, press to raise, your back off the mat and come into glutes, glute bridge. Breathe and exhale, start to lower your middle back, your upper back and your sacrum. And we'll do two more rounds of glute bridge. So if you find the blocks are helpful, keep your feet on the blocks and start to press your feet on the mat or on the blocks squeeze your thighs there is a imaginary block in between your thighs tuck your tailbone and squeeze your buttocks gets the lower part of the body engaged and inhale to raise your spine your back off the mat come into glutes bridge and exhale, lower your middle back, upper back, and your sacrum. One more round. Press your feet on the mat or on the block. Tuck your tailbone in as you squeeze your thighs and squeeze your buttocks. Take another inhale and raise your back off the mat into glute bridge and we'll stay for three breaths this time keep squeezing your thighs last breath and exhale to lower your middle back upper back and sacrum and rest for a moment in Ardha Shavasana. So the next progression into wheel is to bring the arms into the position for wheels. So to do that, you will flex your shoulders to bring the arms up and you will bend at the elbow and you will add a wrist extension this time and uh, many people find that the wrists are uncomfortable or even hurting in this kind of um, uh, extension position extended position so you could again use the block to help with uh, your wrist 
So instead of placing the palms on the on the mat, you will place the palm of the hands near the shorter end of the block, like so, and then fold, flex the fingers over the edge of the elbow, like so. And this uh, uh, finger flexion will actually release some pressure from your wrist and lessen the, the extension of the wrist. But if you would like to try it with the blocks, please come into a wall, a nearby wall, because you want to flush the other short end of the blocks onto the wall. And the wall will actually keep the block stable and not shifting around when you are moving into the position. And you will use two blocks and keep a gap in between the blocks to place your head. So flush the blocks onto the wall and sit in front of the wall and come into the position. So for demonstration purpose, I will not be able to flush my blocks onto the wall. But for you at home, please go to your nearby wall and make sure the walls are there to stop the blocks from moving. So I'll show you. So come back to the uh, bend knee position. So flex the shoulders, bend at the elbow and extend the wrist. So if you are using block, you will place the palm on the shorter end of the block and then flex the fingers over the edge of the block and we'll start with the glute bridge and moving on to what I call a wheel push-ups and the purpose of a wheel push-up is to strengthen the upper part of the body the upper back and the shoulders. So start with the bridge, press with your feet, tuck your tailbone in, squeeze the thighs, activate the glutes, take an inhale and come up into bridge. Stay in your bridge and start to press with your palms, either on the mat or on the blocks, if you are on the blocks. And inhale, press to lift your upper back of the mat. Exhale, lower, just the upper back and the shoulders. Stay in your bridge. Take another inhale, press with the palms and lower. We'll do three more rounds of this. So from bridge, keep squeezing your thighs, keep turning on your glutes. Take an inhale, press with your palms lift your upper back, exhale, lower your upper back, actually sorry, lower your shoulders, inhale, press with your palms, lift your shoulders, exhale, shoulders down, still in the glute bridge, squeezing your thighs, squeezing your buttocks, last one, Take an inhale, press your palms, lift your shoulders off the mat, and exhale, lower your shoulders, your middle back, your up, lower back, your sacrum, and bring your arms by your side, and rest. So, glute bridge and wheel push up uh, preparation and strengthening exercise to get into wheels. So if chakrasana or wheel pose is a regular part of your practice, you will go next into a full chakrasana or if you are not sure and will 
not sure if you could push all the way up to wheel today. What you can do is you can continue the strengthening exercise of glute bridge. Do a few more rounds. Or if your target is to strengthen your upper back, what you can do is from glute bridge, you will do a few more rounds of the wheel push-ups. So choose uh, what option you would like to work on today. And I will show you for myself, I will uh, go into wheels. So let's start. Start with uh, the Shavasana position and flex the shoulders, bend at the elbow, extend the wrist, position the arms and hands for wheels, and start to press the feet on the mat, tuck the tailbone in, squeeze the thighs, activate the glutes, take the inhale, and come into bridge. Stay in bridge and start to press your palms up to lift your shoulders and keep pressing and straighten your elbows and come into full wheels. Breathe and you want to keep squeezing the thighs and keep your glutes active. Protect your lower back and you want also to keep pushing with the hands against the mat. If you are in wheels, you are welcome to go back down into Adha Chavasana or you could stay for two more breaths. your chin, bring it closer to your chest, bend your elbow, start to lower your head, the back of your head and then your shoulders, your middle back, your upper back and your sacrum and bring your hands down by your side and we'll stay in Adha Shavasana for five deep long breaths. Next, we will bring the thighs closer to the chest by lifting the feet off the mat and give yourself a hug. So wrap your arms around your knees and squeeze. And then from there, you could sway side to side. Start massaging your back. Bounce your knees back and forth. Make circles with your knees. Reverse the circle. drop both of your knees to the right side and use your right hand to press gently on both knees extend your left arm to the side and turn your head looking towards your left hand final twist stay and breathe
inhale back turn your head to the center lift your knees off the right side and back on top of your chest and drop your both knees towards the left use your left hand to gently press on the knees and turn your head to look towards your right hand spinal twist on the second side and we'll stay here and breathe Turn your head back to the center, bring the knees up, <laughs> drop the feet on the mat, and slowly extend your legs. Keep the feet apart, about mat width distance. Relax your shoulders, arms by your side, palms facing up. Bring your chin down slightly to extend the back of your neck. Do a little bit of adjustment here and there. Get yourself more comfortable. And close your eyes for Shavasana. And again, shift your awareness into your breathing. In and out through your nostrils. And simply observe your breath, the natural length and depth of your breath for a few cycles. And again, start to imagine that you are breathing in to the crown of your head, down to the neck, your upper back, lower back, the sacrum, and base of your spine, and exhaling from the base of your spine, up to the lower back, upper back, the back of your head, and exit through the crown of your head. Take an inhale through the crown of your head, all the way down to the base of your spine. Exhaling from the base of your spine, moving up all the way and out to the crown of your head. And feel that with every exhale, your body is relaxing, softening. And finally, give your body permission to relax and rest.
start to deepen your breaths. Take a inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. One more time. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Bring your legs together and flex your shoulders. Extend your shoulders and bring the arms up. And give yourself one big stretch. And pulse the knees, pulse the knee in towards your chest and roll to your side. And press with your hand up. Bring yourself back into a seated position. Cross your leg in front of your body. Inhale, arms up. Press the palm together in prayer and lower the prayer into the front of your heart. 